Welcome back to a new episode of I don't know how to title this video or how to start it, so I'm just going to clickbait and ramble for 10 minutes for ad revenue. Today's subject is clout. You may have heard of it. Uh, there's the clout gang on YouTube. You know, uh, I love them. I have all of their merchandise. I have all of Rice Gum's merchandise. Uh, definitely not subpar, low quality garbage made to be sold specifically to 11 year olds. It's very worth the money. Also, uh, FaZe Banks' clothing line, very worth it. Uh, $180 for a t shirt with a caterpillar on it? Sign me the fuck up, please. I have the whole collection. Uh, my, I, uh, my family was murdered. So to make up for it, Face Banks actually sent me uh, the entire collection for free to make up for my parents being dead. Uh, my parents aren't actually dead, though. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you all saw the thumbnail of this video, and uh, you're wondering, when did uh, when did Ricky Banks join a monastery? Well, uh, well actually, uh, he's he's uh, he's been a, a monast uh, in a, in a monastery. He's been a monk for a while. He's got a, a few nicknames now, uh, you know. Face Banks, that's what he's most known as. Um, aggressive guy who punches people and chokes out women, allegedly. <laughs> uh, Faze Monk, Friar Banks, Brother Banks, uh, Bald Banks, uh, Faze Baldy. These are all his name. Uh, I actually was inspired to make this video because I saw a, a, a video by a man named You're Not Justin. And it, the video kind of pissed me off because he's making fun of my idol. Uh, FaZe Banks is my idol. I love him. I will defend him to the ends of the earth, no matter what. Um, but, uh, yeah, this video got me really mad, because FaZe Banks can't help that he's bald, okay? It's fucked up, honestly. The big baloney patch that he has, um, on the top of his head, he can't help it, okay? So it's, we can't make fun of him for it. We can't make fun of the fact that he's extremely insecure and, and posts a picture on Instagram every day with him hiding his fucking shit with a hat. I mean, l listen, listen, the, the, the reason, here's my theory, okay, FaZe Banks has a great genes, I mean, he's pretty ha handsome, he's a handsome guy, he's got blue eyes, he's, you know, he's tall, uh, I'd fuck him, uh, I, I've actually fucked him before, he lives near me, actually, I live in the Hollywood Hills, I'm also a rich millionaire, 20 year old douchebag who thinks everyone is beneath him, so I, I went to his house uh, a, few, a few months ago, like in the start of summer, you know, we made out a little bit in Ricegum's van. It was it was a pretty a pleasant experience. Uh, he cheated on me with uh, that girl he's dating, um, the pancake-looking girl with no ass or titties. Yeah, he cheated on me with her, so we kind of had a falling off. But FaZe Banks is a, is a cool guy, okay? He 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 knows how to make passionate love. I I love I love uh, rubbing his his bald head while making sweet succulent love to him. And I'm sure his new girlfriend also uh, does that. I just imagine him her writing him and just. Just giving him a, a little rub down on uh, <laughs> on his shiny bald head. Motherfucker reminds me of Krillin from Dragon Ball if he was going through a midlife crisis and was trying desperately to save his hair. Anyway, my theory is that uh, clout makes you bald. There's there's something in, in there's something about having a large following that makes you a bald faggot. For example. Uh, here's a picture of of uh, the gay retard. Uh, oh my god, he's actually going fucking. Here's a picture of Mr. Logan Paul. His hairline is pretty clapped. That is a clapped hairline. Uh, here are some more pictures of Logan Paul. You know, just being bald as fuck. Here's one picture of his brother Jake Paul, also being bald as fuck. And then uh, here's Th Thanos from Pawn Stars. The baldest man alive in the entire universe. So, it's no, there's no shame, really. Actually, somebody who's even more powerful than him. Here's a picture of Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> with a clapped... <laughs> with a clapped hair line. <laughs> God, I don't want to kill myself. <laughs> anyway. If Thanos, the Mad Titan himself, ruler of the universe, wielder... Of the Infinity Stones is bald, then fuck it. Just 
who just own it, dude. Just fucking shit. Just fucking shave that shit, Banks. Shave that shit, okay? I would say to be a, <laughs> a millionaire. A million. <laughs> I would say being a billionaire makes up for having a big bolo- <laughs> baloney patch on the top. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing way too much. This is the third time I've recorded this video. Anyway, baldness aside, I think there's something about having clout that drains something that's uh, that's important to young people, you know? Young people, all they give a shit about is about... Other, I, I, I can't relate. I'm a 50-year-old man. I live in my mom's basement. I went bald 10 years ago, okay? So it's fine. I'm bald too, okay? We all lose our fucking hair, all right? Um, young people, all they give a shit is about their looks and fucking women and money, right? So... The, the 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 clout comes at a cost, okay? With great clout comes great hair loss, apparently. So, uh, I would say, though, I would trade all of my hair uh, for clout. And by the way, when I said I went bald 10 years ago, I wasn't referring to my head. I have a luscious uh, set of, 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 of blonde, curly naps, okay? I'm a specimen. I'm a beautiful 400-pound, overweight, middle-aged man. When I said I went bald, I meant my, my balls went bald. Um, that you will not find a single hair on my testicles. I mean, you can look, please, please. I will it's, comment below if you want to see my balls. I will send you my address. Come and and fondle them, and you will see how bald they are. Okay. So I understand where everyone's coming from with the baldness, but to the point of this video, uh, there are a few ways to acquire clout. If you so wish, if you wish to make a deal with the devil. Trade your hair for millions of dollars and the ability to be a giant douchebag on the internet. Uh, step one, uh, don't get involved in drama. See, I watch Face Banks a lot. Uh, I, I watch all of his videos, right? I'm subscribed. I, I'm notification squatted up. I like, comment, subscribe every single fucking time he posts. Uh, he hates drama, okay? Like, he fucking hates drama. He despises it. He said it multiple times. He hates being involved in drama. So, you know, and yet he, he's in, he's kind of involved in drama a lot. Now that I think about it, he hates being in drama and yet he's always This is not a video about drama. This has nothing to do with any situation. So, if that's all you're here for, fuck off. And please, seriously, like I appreciate the love, I appreciate the support, stuff, but if the only reason why you came to my channel is for drama and you don't genuinely me then please just go away i'm not about that there wasn't an aggressive bone in my body all night Wait a second. I got it. I got it. Uh, I hate having sex with beautiful women. <clears throat> no, no. Uh, I said I hate having sex with beautiful women. Fuck. Uh, anyway, step one, don't involve yourself in drama. Uh, step two, uh, clickbait like no tomorrow. Okay, that's that's another step to to, to acquiring clout like... Brian and Ricky Banks. Um, I suppose uh, the last step is to make fun of uh, little kids. I guess that's our. I mean, and Viewbot, Viewbot. Um, I can't really think of anything else. So if you like the video, if you if you got a chuckle out of it, uh, go ahead and, and subscribe. Leave a comment telling me how bald you are on a scale of one to Phase Banks. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Wait, wait, wait! I got it! I got it! I got it! I, I just remembered. The last step, the most important step to gaining clout is you have to stretch out every single one of your videos to 10 minutes to make more ad revenue without actually adding any substantial 